All right. All right. So how do I find builders for my network marketing business utilizing social media? That is a question I'm going to give uh, you. I'm going to walk through exactly how to do this utilizing social media. And I'm going to even pull some tips from a really great book in just a moment that'll help you start finding builders for your network marketing business today. Um, my name is Eddie Via. For those of you who don't know, I help online coaches and network marketers grow their businesses by using their infinitely unique strengths, get pre-done tools that help them generate more results. And while they learn, they're making money and ultimately moving their lives and businesses forward. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about, let me go ahead and pull up a little graphic here. How do I find business partners on social media? Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up this book from um, two very amazing people, Ray and Jessica Higdon. Now, Ray Higdon has also written a couple of other books. One's called The Freakishly Effective Leadership for Network Marketers. Sorry, my that doesn't help, does it? Anyway, Freak, and he's written that book. And he's also co-authored a book called Go For No uh, for Network Marketing. Uh, Ray Higdon is amazing. And he's going to be speaking and doing a full training at my live event on September 17th. We'll talk about that a little bit later. So make sure you follow and subscribe to my channel here so you get more tips and pre-done for you tools to help you grow your business. Now, we're going to talk about network marketing today. And if you're trying to find business builder on social media, I'm going to give you a couple of great thoughts and some tips and some stuff I'm going to pull from this book for you. Um, what I want to share with you right now is like for me, um, the reason why I love social media and the internet so much was because I was not able, me personally, I was not able to go to the people that I knew to find builders. I mean, I talked to a lot of them. I shared a lot of them with what I was doing, but it wasn't really the best place for me to find people who want to build a business. So I like to go to outside places and the internet was the best place to do. And what the way I enjoyed doing this was creating content that was valuable, that helped people come to me. But in these tips I'm going to share with you is that even if you haven't created a whole bunch of content, even if you don't have a big social media following, there's some simple things you can do to help you find some business builders. Okay. So today we're going to talk about that. Um, I'm going to pull up my, the section of this book and I'm going to just read a couple of little things that I think you're going to love. Okay. So first off, to build a successful network marketing organization, you don't have to impress anyone. You do have to connect and get them to believe they can do that. They can do what you are doing. That's what I'm trying to do here, right? I want you to see that you can do this too. So first off, we're going to talk about, let's talk about, um, here we go, prospecting and versus marketing. There's two different things. A lot of times we think we're supposed to market our business, but actually when you're doing network marketing, you also want to be doing some prospecting. So as we've described, there are two pillars to bu of building your business, marketing and prospecting. Marketing is passive. It's kind of what I'm doing right now. You're doing something you hope an unnamed individual reacts to or responds to. That's you. So if you're watching this, I was doing this in the hopes of getting you to respond. So if you're watching this right now and you're building a network marketing business, tell me in the comments below, what is it you really want? Do you want builders or do you want more customers? If you want builders, talk about your business. If you want customers, talk about your products. So many of us are trying to find builders by talking about the products. And then when they like the products, then we talk about the business. To me, that feels like a bait and switch. Instead, I like to look at social media as a place where I talk about the business and then talk about the products so people understand that the business is based on the success of the products. It's a natural shift. So if that's an aha moment for you right now, put it in the comments. All right, let me give you some more. Prospecting is where you are proactively initiating contact, contact and reaching out to an individual. Too many of us build our businesses trying to do lots of videos instead of, instead of ever reaching out to people. And you got to do both of these things. Now, that could be sending an email, a text message, a direct message, or striking up a conversation face-to-face. -face. Now, if you want some uh, direction on what to say and how to prospect, we're going to get to that in a minute. On social media, the ideal way for you to easily, and this is the thing we got to do, is we got to build rapport, right? On social media, the ideal way for you to easily build rapport with someone is one in which they are reaching out to you. For example, you post a video or you write up a text post 
and someone responds to it. In other words, they are responding to your marketing efforts. So if you look at a post uh, I did on Facebook, just uh, like I think it was yesterday, um, you'll see I, I did exactly that thing and people were very receptive and I'm looking forward to helping those people. Uh, and that's what I do. Anyway, moving on. So he says, let's say you posted a video about how you've lost some weight and someone comments, hey, tell me more about this. Instead of going for the jugular and saying, hey, here's my link. You should totally buy it, which is what a lot of us do. Say, instead, say, I'm more than happy to tell, uh, I'm more than happy to. Tell me about your weight loss journey. Have you been trying to lose weight? It's the perfect for condition for you to build rapport because the person is likely open-minded to what you have to say that they reached out to you, where it's not so perfect in prospecting. So what I want you to think about is if a person says, hey, I'm interested in what you have to offer, the first thing you should be doing is asking questions. What has you interested? What is this something? What is some area of your life you want to improve? It's a much better way than asking a person for a goal. Okay, so when you're asking those questions, you're building rapport. Now, let's talk about two different types of prospecting. So there's cold prospecting, which what a lot of us don't like to do, but I'm going to show with you a way that you can do that. This refers to you reaching out to someone you don't know at all. And then there's warm prospecting. This refers to you reaching out to someone you do know, like a neighbor or someone from a previous job you lost touch with, for example. In, other, in, an, in either scenario, cold or warm market, we don't suggest that you should be building rapport first before you get to the point of bringing up your business product or service. This can be challenging for some people. Some people don't like to build rapport. They just, it's awkward. And what I mean by build rapport, it's like saying, hey, how you doing? How's it been? Where are you, how are your kids doing? How's your mom? You know what I mean? All that stuff. For me, whenever I'm prospecting or reaching out to someone that I want to invite to look at my network marketing business, um, I, I used to want to start up a conversation and say, hey, I was just thinking about you. What have you been up to? And then I invite them to look at my thing. And every single time I did that, they all think, well, that's why you were just reaching out. You wanted me to see this thing and you think you could just butter me up. And I'm telling you right now, that does not work, right? So let's talk about that. The reason that we suggest this is that most people are not natural and or skilled at building report. They either tiptoe around the tulips forever and never get to the point, or they just are not very good at it. It's better for you and for you to teach your team to just get to the point because people appreciate it. It's more respectful of your time or other for others. And so then what Ray does is in this book and also in his private trainings, he actually gives you scripts that anyone can do. And one of the things I love doing, even though I've gotten good at this for my network marketing business, what I love to do is learn from the best. And Ray is definitely one of the best. In fact, it just so happens that Ray is going to be doing a private training for everybody that has purchased tickets to my live event on Monday, April 8th. Here it is at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So the author of this book, the author of Go For No for Network Marketing, co-author, right, uh, Ray Higdon, and the author of Freakishly Effective Leadership for Network Marketers, the author of these three great books, and my personal mentor is going to be teaching you and giving you scripts to help you find builders. And all you got to do is purchase a ticket to my live event where Ray is going to be teaching leadership, social media strategies on how to grow your business and find builders, right? And that's gonna be happening on September 17th. But between now and then, you get to get your tickets to the live event here. You can get the live stream or the in-person ticket, whichever one, whichever one you think you're gonna be at right now. If in the future you find out that you're gonna come and you've already purchased the live event, uh, live stream, you can upgrade. You can always upgrade. So get either the live stream ticket or the live event ticket and you get invited to number one, this training that Ray is going to be doing this Monday, April 8th at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And he's going to give us scripts, scripts to grow our social media, use our social media to find builders. Then you're also going to get a private recorded training that he already did on how to find builders. How do we talk to people to find builders for our network marketing business? That training is already done and you can watch it today when you get your tickets. I'm also going to privately invite you to 
a video marketing training with the best internet marketer when it comes to video marketing, the best video marketing coach I know, Mark Harbert. It's gonna be coming up in the next couple of months. Plus in August, I'm gonna teach you how to use your strengths to do all of this. And all of these great trainings are culminating on September 17th, live from Salt Lake City, Utah. Get your tickets to this right now. Get your live stream or your in-person tickets. By the way, if you do the in-person tickets, you're gonna get fed so well, not just up here, but in here too. We're feeding you breakfast, lunch, and dinner and giving you so much camaraderie and connection. Uh, it's gonna be an incredible event and I can't wait to see you there. So get your tickets now. Comment below if you're already going and then tag some people to bring with you. We're, our goal is to fill that room up with 500 people and we're well on our way and it's just April. Have an awesome day. I hope these tips helped you. I'm gonna be doing more uh, tips from this other book, Leadership and Go For No from Network Marketing. So make sure you like, subscribe and follow me here for more. Have an awesome day. We'll see you all in the next video. Bye.